please welcome Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> <clears throat> Mars bar? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> he looks convincing, though, doesn't it? Very much so. Isn't that horrible? It's horrible. You ever done that? You ever had someone look through your poo for medical purposes? Um, shit, no. No. <laughs> no, God, no. no. Okay, Dwayne, it's great yeah. to have you on the show. It's good to be back. Thank uh, you. Last time we had you on the show, we were referring to you mainly as The Rock, and I know uh -huh. you're now moving on from that, and really, uh, you're, you're not going to be known as The Rock for much longer. Um, well, no, correct. Like moving forward, yeah. uh, just as an actor, we well, wanted to be billed as Dwayne Johnson because it's my name. And, and you're only going to get certain parts as The Rock, aren't you? That's the thing. If you want to move ahead, I guess sure. you have to. Well, you, you know, that's a good point. But what I wanted to do, I, I really wanted to make it a natural, seamless transition. You know, I never wanted to make a big deal about it. Uh, you know, from the last time I was on, I think I'm just The Rock at that time. The rock, so we were calling I just the wanted rock. it to happen naturally, and it has. And, you know, I'm familiar. It's just The Rock has become. What it is, which is just a nickname, um, you know, like... I'm personally relieved, because uh, when I used to tell people to come on the show, they thought I was talking about a Chinese cooking implement, so it's made my <laughs> life a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> if no-one else is. Wait, you can't say The Rock? Well, don't go on about it now. <laughs> no, I'm just saying... I let you in on the joke, and now you're making me feel small. No, <laughs> I'm just saying you can't... So, what we, like, what's the weather like? Is it wainy? I mean, what... <laughs> <laughs> Try to be nice to someone. <laughs> uh, okay, um, do you miss that? That was really uh, when you were wrestling that you first got known as that, of course. Did sure. you, do you miss those days? You don't wrestle at all professionally anymore, or even for fun, you don't do any of that kind of stuff? No, well, just, you know, a little drink uh, now and then I do it. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, I retired uh, five years ago, quietly retired. Um, I thanked everybody who I need to thank, and I just I quietly got it. How long were you a wrestler for? Um, full time from uh, 97 to 2001. Wow, so, so that's quite a long one because it's a, it's a tough sure. name. Yeah. Uh, and sure. you, your looks didn't suffer. You know, we see professionals like, you know, you see boxers or you see wrestlers mm -hmm. get, you know, get off and their, their ears are a bit puffed up and they've got that. You didn't sustain any injuries at all? Um, on the inside. The soul. The soul, yes. <laughs> the soul. Uh, soul was fractured. Can I be honest with you? The, that's American style wrestling. Yes. That's what you were doing. And that really is, it's really not a tough game compared to the wrestling you have over here. I don't know if you're familiar with British wrestling. Um, you can familiarise me. It used to be huge news on TV. You don't see it so much anymore. It used to be a big deal. We had wrestlers who, yes, you're a fit man, but we had, I don't wish to be mean, but proper athletes. <laughs> well, give, give, me, give me an example. I will do. I will do. Be patient. <laughs> Giant haystacks. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. You yes. heard of Big Daddy? I heard of Big Daddy. Okay. You think yes. you could have taken Big Daddy in your heyday? Uh, that's my nickname in the bedroom, as a matter yeah. of fact. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Yeah, he's the original. I could have taken him to the warehouse. The American West says, you're big, buff, worked out guys. Um, well, a lot, a lot of those guys are. A lot of those guys are really mm -hmm. big. But, no, but when I was in it, I, I never cared about being, like, the, the biggest guy. I just wanted to be usually the most entertaining and... Uh, but you were what I believe the vernacular is ripped when people can see muscles and stuff like that. The vernacular, were... actually, Jonathan, is, is felt. It's felt. It's felt. Yes. felt. No, you were whipped. <laughs> Wait, was I? I was whipped. Oh, for or... fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, Dwayne. Let it go. All right. I'm trying to move on from that, like you're trying to move on from the rock. From the okay. <laughs> there you go. Good. Uh, yeah, I had to roll it. Um, <laughs> but uh, now, uh, do you still keep in shape? I guess uh, yeah. you know people want to see a healthy guy, but you still work out as much as you used to. Is sure. A different well, uh, actually, more. Um, we, no, really? Yeah, usually, usually more. I just I adjusted my training. I like to train, especially uh, now. You know, life is so hectic, and all of our lives are just so crazy because it's all relative. So it's so a I, good stress buster? It's a completely good stress buster. I like to get away, and it's my sanctuary a lot of times. I can get away from all the craziness around me. How much time do you spend working out uh, in a given week? Uh, in a given week, I'm not too sure, but it's usually an hour and a half every day. So. <clears throat> you, as you, you may or may not know, I, I am uh, in very fine shape myself for a man of my age. Oh, well, I don't, do? Your face no. actually fell, then. No, I was going to say. His no. face actually fell. It was the very definition of a falling face. No, I can tell. You're the, the, the muscle relax, the muscle softeners you're taking are working very well. I, I, <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. You look great. 
You from, from the last time I saw you, you've right. lost weight, right? I've put on about a stone since last time. <laughs> yeah, deliberately, of muscle. Hard muscle. I can tell. Covered with a thick layer of protective fat, <laughs> so I don't get damaged. <laughs> uh, do you use weights? Yeah, I, I, I do, but I like a lot of stretching, too, because there's a lot of active stretching, stretching that you can yeah, do. So yeah. I've got, like, a stability ball, and well, I'll just I, do No, that. we have one of those here. This is a stability ball. <laughs> Uh, although Gillian McKee thought this was something I passed earlier. Uh, <laughs> uh, and what would one use the ball for? How would you use the ball in, uh, in your exercise? Because you, you can't uh, do a... And it, you, there's not the lift there, so you lean on it, or what do you do? Well, yeah, it? you'd be surprised. There's a lot of things you could do other than just letting it fall off your desk. But uh, uh, you could do sit-ups on it, for example. You could do a sit-up on the ball? You can do it. That'd be ridiculous. No, it's not at all. You, you can do it. All right, show me a sit-up on the ball. You want to try it? Well, I want you to show me I first. I want you to try it. I'll try it, but you've got to show me first. Also, well, you... I'm going to warn you in advance, I will probably break wind if I do an extra. <laughs> I'm sure, and it, it might smell like Vaseline. Here, come on. <laughs> in your dreams, Hanson. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> this Girlfriend. is a different show. Okay. <laughs> That's awful. Oh, there's a lot Six of class Six puffs and a piano, <laughs> live on TV. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey. I'll do it once and then you can do it. What, you can't do more than one? No, I'm saying I'll do one. I'll just show you, I'll just show you the... Um... All right, OK, come on in. All right. Just come here. It's very, do that, very sitting. See that? And you just come up. I wish I wasn't up. standing right here. Oh, you are, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. This is a dream come true for so you. That's OK, easy. let's that's try That's easy. <laughs> try it. All right, OK. Don't let one go. <laughs> All right. All right. Boy, you do have a big tongue. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. Ah. Ooh, that's easy. It's just rolling yeah, no, 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 you, you Don't roll it. Don't roll it on well, your... That's the, uh... Where's the fun in not rolling it? Just... Oh! <laughs> 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 bring, bring your legs up and at least steady yourself with your feet. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you. I've got quite slippy soles on my shoes. That's the problem, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, that's easy. I did twice as many as you did. You did. Keely actually looks quite horrified about what I was showing him. <laughs> Oh, that's... Yeah. She's been drinking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get rid of that. So that's that. So that's you. You mainly work out using the ball. Uh, no. I mean, those, those are just like warm-up exercises. So that's for your stomach there. That's for your stomach. Yes. Okay. And so you would move on to weights, press ups, that kind of stuff. Uh, usual stuff. Move on to weights, and you know, usually depending on what what the role is, I'll adjust and modify my training. Um, okay. Tell us about the movie. Uh, you've made a deliberate. Move away from your previous movies, I guess, here because uh, I've seen you in uh, initially. I knew you from action films, sure. Uh, and this new one is an out and out family film, isn't it? Sure, it's a, it's a big family comedy, it's called The Game Plan. And um, you know, I've always been drawn to comedy, it's just before I was only getting action material. Well, you've always struck me as being someone who has a very good sense of humor, and certainly right. even in the movies when you're in action movies, there was a kind of playfulness about them, sure, mm. sure. And, and I enjoyed that, and I always enjoyed playing on that. And I you know, for me, I always find it really uh, unique and special. If you could, if, as you know, if you can make people laugh and feel good, uh, they came to me with this idea. Um, it, with with re regarding the script, I loved it. Love what it was. Big family comedy with Disney, which yeah. you know, being a dad, uh, Disney I, you know, rules the children's world, of course. Doesn't Disney it? rules. Uh, yeah. You know, and uh, they make those kind of family films better than just about anyone else. Um, That's right. You you enjoyed the process, no doubt, of making this. Was it fun making a film where it didn't involve as much exertion as the other oh, ones? I, I, I loved it. I, I loved it. And I think you know, any day you could come to the set and the material is just funny. It's not heavy. It's not weighty or anything like that. Uh, it's just funny and you're having fun and you're making a good movie and that's what we set out to do was to make a classic movie that had a lot of heart. Uh, this is a fun film. I saw it with my kid today, my daughter adored it and my boy who I thought might be a bit, <laughs> not sneery, but you know, he's 13 now, he sat there, he laughed along, he loved it too. So oh, good, because uh, you know, he's at that age. That, yeah, yeah. He, well, well, he's not started that yet. <laughs> <laughs> that thing, yes. Yeah, well, I know, because I check his bookmarks on the uh, computer upstairs. You have to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just hope no one checks mine. <laughs> 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 you ever, you never been in a porn movie, have you? What's that? <laughs> porn? Have you ever been in one? Oh, many. I saw one the other day and there was a bloke who looked a bit like you in it. <laughs> How could you tell? <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. No, he had control of all his limbs. <laughs> <laughs> Suggesting he was disabled in some way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that trick arm, that was the problem. <laughs> I only bring class to this show. Yeah, guys. yeah, 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 every time. OK, here we go. OK. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> Dwayne Johnson in Game Plan. It's <laughs> a family movie plan for the weekend, sorted. Uh, Michael Douglas.
really enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you. Thank uh, you. Yeah, now, now, so you made that movie, that's done, that's dusty, that's finished. Have you filmed anything else in between that and now? Is there anything yet to come out? Sure, yeah. Uh, got a big comedy coming out with Steve Carell and wow. Anne Hathaway called Get Smart. Uh, oh, based was, on the TV series yeah, with the spy. On, I love yeah, that show. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. Very, very funny movie. Um, and I'm getting ready to shoot a big action movie called um, Race to Witch Mountain. Race to Witch Mountain. Is that a Disney film as well? Uh, it is, right. Because they used matter to have fact, a Witch director. Mountain years ago. Yes, yes. So I had Betty Davis in, didn't I? Yeah, good memory. I'm uh, a film critic. What do you mean, good memory? <laughs> <laughs> No, good. That's right. No, good memory. Good memory. It is. Good memory. Good me Stop being so condescending. <laughs> um, what's your background? What's your family background? Because I believe your, your mother, is she Samoan? Is that yeah. right from the... No, where, 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 where is Samoa? Where uh, the... so, Samoa is in the southern Pacific Islands. It's so part it's of like the South, South Pac Sea Island. S South Pacific Islands. There's Hawaii and Samoa and Tahiti and Fiji and Tonga. Uh, my mom's Samoan and my dad's black. Okay. So your dad's like a, we would call an African-American these days, I guess. Is that uh, right? Yeah. Where's he from originally? Canada. So he's from Canada. Yeah. So not an African American, an African Canadian. African Canadian, right? Oh, you got to be so careful. I know. Don't you? <laughs> uh, I know. Right? We don't upset the Canadians. Uh, <laughs> uh, and so your mother's Samoan. And are you in touch with Samoan culture? Are you, do you feel that as part of your heritage? Do you do you ever go back to Samoa? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I've been back there a couple of times. And you know, the Samoan culture uh, is a very, very strong culture. It's a very proud culture. Uh, but I'm very proud of what I am, being half black and half Samoan. I have, uh, you know, my tattoos represent... I wondered about that. I saw a bit of it peeping out there, and I get, it did look somewhat like a, you know, a tribal tattoo of the old salt. Uh, it is. It is. It's a, it, in Polynesian culture, tattooing is, um, is very important, very meaningful. So, uh, symbolically, it tells a story of my life, of what's important to me, like family and uh, success and failure. And there's a lot of different symbols that kind of go all, all the way around. And what we do for movies, we just cover it. My makeup artist covers them. Because it's something important to you, therefore, are you sure. going to do you keep on adding to it as your life changes? No, no, <clears throat> we're pretty much done with it now. And the, the last time I was in Samoa, um, the king of Samoa had actually uh, he uh, bestowed a high chief title on me, and to, to have a high chief title bestowed upon you is, is a great honor. Sure, that sounds like that's a pretty big deal. Like that. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was really wonderful. Yeah, is there Very a big ceremony it. involved? There's a huge ceremony involved. Sure, and I took my entire team who's with me now. I took them to Samoa, and uh, and they were there. They were witnessing it. Was, it was really beautiful. Uh, do you wear the tribal gear when you're there? Do you have the outfit you put on? Because they have a tribal sure. tradition of clothing which goes way back. I've seen photographs. And it's yeah, very, yeah. very exotic to our eyes, but it must be quite... Sure, uh, absolutely. That... Uh, there, there's, uh, Dwayne, Dwayne, let me yes. know. Sorry, I believe... Is that your... That's your grandfather, am I right in thinking? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. He's a fine figure of a man, That's my grandfather, yeah. What's he's... he holding there? What's going on there? Why is um, he... Well, that is a, the attire of a high chief. Uh, so he was par a high Paramount chief, high chief. Yeah. His name was uh, High Chief Peter Maivia, and he was a wonderful man and uh he was uh he was a great professional wrestler too really so as a matter of fact uh he learned how to wrestle here and he was he came here. Out here yeah in london yeah wow uh so when you were made uh you said you were made a, a kid not a kid you were made a uh, high chief, chief. A high chief. Mm -hmm. did you wear that sort of outfit as well yeah. um i wore some of it yes and then the the wrap around that he has is a gift and that's all handmade and when it's given it's given with the highest honor yeah that must be quite. That must have been a proud moment for you. It was. It was. It was one of the proudest moments of my life. It's yeah. very honoured. I must admit, when I go back to Leytonstone, I just get bricks thrown at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a great. What a great thing. And uh, how lovely to be having the success you are and have that kind of cultural heritage as well. Um, I'm very lucky. I think everybody should be in tune with their culture, whatever the culture is. Uh, okay. Well, look. How nice to see you again, oh, Dwayne. It's, great it's to a see pleasure you too. to have you on. I very much enjoy your company. Uh, you're such a sort of charming character, and you, you don't take yourself too seriously, and you just. Fun to be around. Thank you, my man. How yeah, nice to have you here. Good luck with the game plan. You won't need it. It's going to be a successful movie because it's a, a fun family Disney movie. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you very Mr. Much. Dwayne Johnson. Thank you. That was great. Thank, Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dwayne Thank Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 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 Thank you.